Today I'm joined by two of the most exciting French jazz men of the moment. As we enter the summer's rash of music festivals in France, we're going to be talking about the country's long established love affair with jazz and how it's French musicians blazing the new trails for the genre. Welcome to the leading soprano saxophonist Emile Parisian. The French newspaper Le Monde called him the best thing to happen in European jazz for a long time. And hello to jazz pianist Gauthier Tou, who's been named as one to watch by numerous leading music publications. Hello to you both. Thanks for joining us here in the studio. Hello. Thank Hello. you. Thank you. Now, there are dozens of jazz festivals across France every summer. Um, summer jazz in France is a tradition that dates back um, to just after the Second World War. Nice hosted the first festival in 1948, where Louis Armstrong caused a sensation. Uh, how do you explain France's love affair with jazz in the summer? Well, uh, maybe that's uh, due to the, the chance we have to have the Côte d'Azur. Uh, with the Mediterranean Sea and also the Atlantic Ocean. It's like a lots of paradise view on the sea and uh, a lots of tourists also coming, so meaning lots of people coming to festival and watch. After the Second War, we, we need, people needed um, uh, some freedom and some, some culture uh, things to, to be happy and, um, and the jazz came from um, the um, America and uh, and so we we felt in love with um, this uh, this music. Well, there are so many jazz festivals. Um, we have Jazz A One on the Côte um, d'Azur, um, Jazz A Vienne, um, where you've been playing Gautier. Um, jazz in Marciac is one of the most famous, significant for you, Emile, because your last album was born there, Sefumato. Um, you're playing again there in August. Let's have a listen to Temptation Rag off the album. Gautier, your music has been described as very modern, inspired by hip-hop, rock and pop. The music we just heard, Temptation Rag, it was composed in 1909 by Henry Lodge. What do you think of Emile's interpretation of it? I think the way they play here is like two of the most advanced jazz musicians in, in Europe playing super European jazz, but also with like a big tradition of the American jazz music, playing with one of the most famous jazz American jazz players in the world. So. That's like a meeting and they play music from the beginning of the, cent of the past century. So I think it's, it's really cool. And Emil, anyone who's seen you perform knows that you play with all of your being, with all of your body, um, which is it's, it's quite unusual. It's quite special to watch. <laughs> uh, yes, a lot of people um, tell me this, but it's just a way to... Um, to, to my uh, spirit and my body are connected together to express... Um, what I want to to tell, and uh, and I cannot control my body, and uh, it's just uh, my way to express um, my my feelings. Well, okay, so your new album is called um, "The Colors You See." We're gonna listen to it. All depends on the light. Can you introduce it for us? Yeah. So the it all depends on the lights. That's a sentence I always answer to people asking me about colors because I'm colorblind. That's the the topic of my new album. The colors you see is the colors. And uh, since I was a kid, people always ask me, what is this color? What is the shirt color? And I always said the same thing. It's, it all depends on the light. So that's the, the name of the tune. Okay, well, let's take a listen. <laughs> I wanted to talk about your influences, Gautier. Um, for example, 39 and all of the rest was your reaction um, to the Paris terror attacks um, that took place in November in 2015. Are you composing music that is inspired by the world around you? Uh, well, I think 
I think I should say yes because that's the that's the case, and I think that's the case of everyone. I mean, we are human beings, so we have reaction to what is going on in the world, and some, but we can't react to everything. So, like personally, I compose with uh, like I don't know moments that are really touching me or like putting me in some like sadness or reactions but I don't this 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 tune was a bit special it was like a way of getting all the frustration and hunger out of it but um but in general yeah, it's more reaction about like specific moments or something Jazz is an art form that was born um, from mass migration, post-slavery, racism um, and a creative tension of musicians that were all thrown together in the 20th century boom towns um, of America. But it's also almost a century on now since jazz um, arrived in France. It came via the black American soldiers um, in the First World War. Is jazz still a pro form of protest? I think jazz music and it's it's some art. What um, what people need, I mean, to 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 ex escape uh, from the from the the life uh, difficult life, and uh, it's just to to have some some, some happiness. Uh, the, the, I think the culture the culture is here for this, and uh, jazz is a part of. Uh, a culture. I agree with, uh, with Emil. I mean, uh, we don't have the same life as the Afro-Americans in the 50s, so we can't protest about the same thing. In, in my example, sometimes I write music about something special, politic a bit, but like just a few, but it's more uh, protesting about or testifying about something and trying to, uh, as he said, to... Uh, to uh, uh, yeah, it. it's not about protest protesting i mean we are not protesting uh, we are doing something uh, out of the um, some difficulties in in the world and uh, uh, it's not by uh, reaction in in my opinion in my way to play uh, to play music it's not a reaction but i can understand uh, people doing by reaction i think we are just musicians living here today in 2018 with everything going on but we are not like super political engaged musicians. Yeah, yeah. Well, we always ask our guests about something cultural that they're loving at the moment. Um, Gautier, what have you chosen? Um, I've chosen uh, a, a tune called Everything Connected from John Hopkins. Uh, it's he's a producer, also a DJ when he's touring. Um, he's doing like ambient techno music. And uh, this kind of electro ambient music has also been a like a big influence to me in the last few years. Okay, well, let's take a listen. Was everything connected by John Hopkins? Emil, what's your cultural pick of the moment? Um, I'm interested on on the on the art, modern art. There is, um, I think, a very uh, a great exhibition in uh, Grand Palais, in Paris, in the Copca, um, whom I really like, and uh, as you can see, uh, it's really interesting. And I like abstraction, and uh, and he's a good uh, icon of it, I think. Okay, well, um, that retrospective of the work of the pioneer of abstract art. Um, the Czech artist Kupka is on until the end of July. Now, just before we go, I want to ask you, um, we are in the jazz season in France, the summer season. Can you share with us um, a memory of one of the festivals that you've played at? I think the hugest, hugest one was uh, last Friday. I was playing in Jazz à Vienne. It was look at the, the last, last uh, night of the festival and we opened the night in front of like 6,000 people. And we, I never played jazz in front of so many people. And uh, the, when we played the first tune, and I started to talk to the audience, and I was watching this wall of people in this 2,000-year-old theater. It was like a huge amount of energy going inside of my body, and uh, that was something I will never forget, I think.
I can say Jazavian is a really a special uh, special scene. Uh, I used to play <coughs> a few times there, and uh, I had the same sensation. It's really really special. But um, I can speak about the last concert we recorded um, the, with Winton, this uh, Sfumato concert. It was in Jazz in Marciac uh, last year, but it's difficult to, to choose only one. Okay, well, Emile Gauthier, thank you so much for joining us thank you. here on France 24. You. Emile, your new album is Sfumato, and you'll be playing the Paris Jazz Festival at the Parc Floral on the 22nd of July. Gauthier, your new album and the colours... You see, you can see you um, on the 26th of July at Cosmo Jazz in Chamonix. We're going to leave you now with a taster of Jazz à la Villette, which is a festival on at the end of August in Paris. Janelle Monet is headlining this year, and this is I Like That from her album Dirty Computer. Remember our website. We're also on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook. There's more news coming up on France 24 after this. A little crazy, little sexy, little cool. Little rough around the edges, but I 